Hello guys and welcome back to Learning with Rock. Beginner's Guide of Clash of Clans. Maxing Town Hall 3 faster. I am your host Rock Gamer. I welcome you. Let's visit our village. And here we are. Uh, we, are we begin with first clearing some obstacles. We need gems for our fourth builder. We'll look at it later. As of now in our village we are maxed out with everything except a cannon, one elixir storage, one cold storage and our collectors and one bomb. We put that second bomb up for upgrade. We queue up our tro troops. Somehow we had not kept them ready in the last video. So we usually push two raids in uh, every video. Yeah, bombs can go only up to level two in Town Hall three. So we'll be maxed. One, uh, our bombs will be maxed once uh, you know the second one gets done, which is already in for upgrade. So uh, while we are waiting for okay, uh, we have been promoted to bronze league. that we wanted to and we are sharing our attack log with you you guys have seen you know we have attacked only for resources we have never bothered about trophies uh, you know going for resources we ended up winning a few but uh, we didn't really mind losing because they were predominantly uh, farming raids we don't uh, worry too much about trophies we are not very happy to be in uh, the bronze to league we need to drop I keep I kept saying that in my last video as well so we have a gold uh, we have a elixir storage which is still pending and uh, we are waiting for our troops now while we wait up for our troops uh, you know I am in a clan I, I mean I joined the clan uh, you know you guys know if you have seen my earlier video I joined the clan immediately as soon as I you know I uh, stepped into Town Hall 3 and uh, you know got my clan has uh, CC done. So uh, I have been wondering, uh, I have asked, I had uh, you know requested, uh, put a clan chat message uh, to my clan members that will it be okay if uh, I share their replays in my YouTube videos. Uh, there you see, you know, my uh, you know, I am asking them and one of my clan mates, he also happens to be uh, the leader of our clan. <clears throat> Helper, I'm sorry. <clears throat> he says it is uh, okay if I do so. So I'll be sharing some of his attacks. Uh, he has recently been to uh, uh, the Titan League. He, has, he said that there is a video uh, that there it is. That was his last push uh, attack for Titan Leagues. So we get to see a Town Hall 10 attack. Now he's doing a Queen Walk here from. The east, he has broken the walls. He's getting in. It's a rage spell for the queen. The queen is currently not getting hit by any of the defenses. And we see the king and the golem. The golem first, followed by the king, trying to enter from the south. And the bowlers are trying to create a funnel. The double drop of bowlers have cleared the storage once the funnel is done there's the jump spell the valkyries take it rage and heal in the core we know valkyries clear the core like butter under rage and heal so king is about to die but has taken the complete rage ability there are wizards and bowlers there's a queen who has not even used her ability now. Okay, there she goes. The ability, oh god, that was a three star. Amazing attack. We'll run through it once again. And this is what you get when you, you know, go to higher level. And, you know, it was an amazing attack. Although it was a ring base and ring bases are not supposed to be the best bases. But still, you know, for a TH10 to be able to three star another TH10, it's a big deal. Though we know that the queen was not uh, really up and running for the for Mr. Black Mamba, but nevertheless a good attack. 
uh, he has used five uh, healers king queen four valkyries with his army four valkyrie in cc seven wizards eight bowlers and around eight wall breakers uh, i'll leave uh, you guys to look at the troop combo also you know whenever you're watching this video but it was a beautiful attack see how all the troops are converging towards one side and the queen she has her ability left right till the end amazing attack <clears throat> i'm so happy to be able to share a th10 attack with you guys uh, it looks like our army will take some more time so we'll sign off okay we are back uh, we signed off only for a couple of minutes but we didn't have a shield so let's see if we got okay yes we got attacked and we lost the defense we lost 10 trophies we're still at 510 but never mind we have an idea okay we were attacked by i do not know how to read it but he three starred us with balloons nicely he's trying to check and lure our cc troops with his barbarians nothing came out because there was there were no troops we stopped ordering for cc troops since the time we won the 130 trophies which we didn't win to want to in th3 so that's uh, you know that's how balloons can wreck a th3 <coughs> excuse me nice attack okay we go back to our village we are at 510 trophies Let's visit this fellow. Okay, he's a TH10. He has unlocked balloons. He has his air defense. Uh, his point defenses are not maxed out, so he's not a maxed out you know, TH3. But he has taken his base to TH4, something which I call rushing, which I recommend you guys never do. Please don't do it. Uh, we set up our final Alexis storage for upgrade clean up some buildings we still have some uh, golden elixir mines to upgrade and these are going to be the final buildings all everything else is upgraded you would see that and now uh, after clearing some more obstacles i was talking about this 510 trophy count it's very high so we need to do something about it i do have something in mind Why don't we drop trophies? How to do that? I'll tell you. Why am I doing that? I'll tell you that as well. But uh, you know, as of now, let's just see how to drop trophies. <clears throat> do we have our goblins ready? Off we go. You drop a goblin press surrender that's how you drop trophies minus 14 trophies another one minus 11 trophies another one we need to reach somewhere around 400 trophy count okay there is a reason why I'm doing this guys so please don't worry about it there is a reason and by the end of this video you'll you guys will come to know why I did this you know it's important uh, for us to get to the 400 trophy mark as of now, till then, please bear with me. Oh, thank you. I know I have been demoted. I have done it deliberately. And I am happy to be demoted. We continue our drop. It's very easy. You drop one goblin and you press the surrender button. That's how you drop your trophies. You do not deploy too many troops. Just one goblin. And you keep doing that. Again. And again and again till we have reached 399 now that's where we want it to be so we have dropped a few goblins so queue them up back first and off we go to raid you're not going to drop trophies anymore oh god this is not a good base should be out soon we are looking 
for a minimum 10,000 each rate. This base is nice, no walls, and it's going to be very easy for our goblins to get all the money out from this base. They're trickling goblins from all sides, and all of them converge. Okay, it will be better if we don't get the town hall. But we still got, the, we didn't get the town hall, but we just got the one star, which we had to because we wanted all the money. 3000 gold, 7000 elixir, and here is the, here is now, now, uh, we'll come to why I did drop trophies now. This channel is all about helping, uh, uh, you know, players understand how to upgrade their base, uh, you know, bases faster. You know, you have seen us, uh, you know, we have been always using goblin army not caring about trophies and and we have maxed out our you know village you have seen it live uh, of course in the fast forward format but uh, you know you've seen it uh, every moment of my village is shared with you guys in my earlier videos so you know you kept you saw that we kept winning defenses even when we didn't want to uh, the reason for that because our base was strong all, of, all our buildings were upgraded, defenses were upgraded, walls were upgraded. Now even when you upgrade buildings, the hit points go up, which means the enemy has to hit more amount of time, more number of time to destroy them. So that is how, that is why we kept winning bases, even we didn't want to. We stopped ordering CC troops. We never requested them after we won that 130 trophies. But this game is uh, not only about, uh, you know, how to make your base strong. The objective of our channel is, yes, how to build your base faster, but more importantly, how to be a good player. Now, a good player is not only about defense, a good player is also about offense. And you should be able to 3-star bases at your will. If you want to, you should be able to do that. And you know, the next episode of this channel is going to focus only on attacks. Actually, the next couple of episodes, because we know that our town hall is, I mean, most of our buildings are maxed. We just have a few mines and collectors. We'll be doing them while we do our attacks. So our first thing is going to be, we are going to use 20 barbarians 20 goblins, 20 archers, 22 archers, and 5 ball breakers. Now, how would a TH3? Anyway, we'll talk about.